Good morning, my name is Martin from the Lemkin Product Marketing and today I'm going to show you this nice plow. So, first of all, this is a Jewel 10 plow, one of the strongest plows available in the market due to its uh, rotary axis of 130 millimeters and the strong frame of 160 times 160 millimeters. It's uh, built for tough conditions and uh, yeah, it's one of the heavy duty plows in the market. Let's start in the front and go back and uh, focus on some main benefits of this plow. So like I said, we have a very strong rotary axis with 130 millimeters diameter. We can build this plow from four furrows up to seven furrows length. So it's built for heavy duty conditions, deep plowing, especially in Italy, they like to plow very deep up to 45 centimeters. So this plow is approved up to 450 horsepower. In the front, there are two special things. Um, we have a memory turning device so we can adjust different options in this plow, like uh, the angle of the plow, the front furrow working width and the total working width of the plow. And um, also we have a shock absorption in the headstock so that the plow and the tractor can move independently and that we don't have shocks from the plow on the tractor or otherwise from the tractor to the plow. That's enough from the front, let's go one step back to the furrow press. So one of the most obvious options on this plow is this integrated furrow press, the flex pack. So with this flex pack, it's one of the main benefits that we don't need another tractor that brings the furrow press from one field to another. So this furrow press is always connected to the plow and turns together with the plow with every turning. So you see these big rings, they are for a good reconsolidation of light and medium soils and also for good crumbling that the seed gets the optimum seed conditions to emerge. New on this plow is that this furrow press flex pack is available with a overload, hydraulic overload device, the U element. So until now it wasn't available to get the flex pack with a overload device, but now it is. And um, that's very good for stony conditions when you have rocks in the field or foreign bodies, for example. And um, this flex pack is, has also an overload system that it get, can get around foreign bodies or rocks. So this spring can move upwards and downwards and by that we don't get damages on the rings. Like all Lemkin plows, you can equip this plow with different bodies. Like here we have the CS50 body. So CS is a strip body with a length of 50 centimeters, but you can also equip it with a W52 body, so a full material body, very long for heavy soils. So we have, I think, 13 different types of body and you can choose every body on this plow when you order it. When you take a closer look on the hydraulic system of the furrow press, you see different cylinders and different uh, manometers. So with this manometer you can see that you can transfer weight from the plow to the furrow press so that you can react on different soil conditions. So you can adjust it with this valve and then you act your spool valve and so you get a higher pressure in this hydraulic system. And if you don't want to use this furrow press, you can lift it up that it runs um, over the soil surface and um, that you only get your normal plowing. Here you see our OptiStone element. So, this is a hydraulic overload safety system. It's able to move sideways 20 centimeters to the left and also 20 centimeters to the right. So you have a total lateral way of 40 centimeters because in the field conditions you normally don't hit the rock in the ground straight. So if you hit it straight and you don't have the ability to go sideways, you cause damage on the plow body or the frame or something else. We have the ability to go lateral 20 centimeters left and right and also 37 centimeters upwards. So we have two movements. In contrast of the most competitors, we always have four coupling points of the body. So also when it's released, so when we go over a rock or a foreign body in the ground, we always have this four coupling points of the body. So by that it's not possible to lose the whole plow body in the field if we have a released body due to a stone. Additionally on this plow we have a disc on the last body. It has the function to create a nice furrow and it's also overload protected by 
this spring. So we have this tube with a spring inside. So this this can also go over foreign bodies and rocks in the field. So this plow only has it on the last body, but it's also available for, with plows on everybody, is that everybody makes a smooth furrow. Let's have a closer look on the wheel. So this wheel is a bit special because it has two functions. So function one is to hold the plow into the field. So with normal plowing, the plow runs on the field on this wheel. But when it comes to street transport, the plow gets moved into the middle position. And this wheel, you have to move this bolt from this hole into this hole. So you can move the wheel that the plow runs on this wheel on the street transport. Enough from the wheel, let's go to the front to the hydraulic cylinders. So you see plenty of hydraulic cylinders here. So I will explain every cylinder for you. This cylinder is for the variable working width. So this plow is a so-called variable plow. So you can move the working width from 30 centimeters for everybody to 50 or 55 centimeters for everybody. So you can react to different field conditions um, that you need just by acting your spool valve. Then go frontwards. Then you see this cylinder here. So this is optionally. So this is our front for working with. So this is adjustable hydraulically, also over the spool valve. In this case, also over the small device in the cap that I showed earlier. When you see this thing here, this is for your pulling point. Every tractor has a different inside width of the wheel. That's why you need to adjust your pulling point for every tractor independently from the front furrow width. This system is called OptiQuick. Lemkin has it like 20 years ago. It's a very good system. There you see, not only the OptiQuick system is a good system, the whole plow is completely developed and a good system. If you want to see it in your own conditions on your own field, ask your dealer follow our website. We have demo machines in most regions of the world and so we are able to get into the field.